After watching this film, I can confidently say that this is in my top five as of right now. You guys have got to check this film out. Nothing is what it seems when a twisted one-night stand spirals out of control. The film stars Willow Fitzgerald, Kyle Gallner, Ed Beagley Jr., and Barbara Hershey, and was directed by J.T. Molnar and have never seen any of his previous works. Now before I start this review, I'm going to try to keep this review pretty vague. I definitely want you guys to go into this film very fresh and not knowing too much. I did see like a brief little clip of the trailer, but I really didn't know too much about what this film was actually about. All I knew is that it was a one night stand. You have obviously a guy and a girl here. I knew that Kyle Gallner was in this film. He's played in films like Jennifer's Body, and one of my favorite horror films, Smile. So I was really hyped to go check out this film. It was getting good reviews, and I was just hoping that it was going to definitely live up to the hype. And I have to say that it definitely did live up to the hype. Now, this film is very stylistic. It has some red and blue colors that it has throughout, and it has a different kind of style to it as it has the nonlinear plot, obviously referring to like a Quentin Tarantino film. And it drops you into the film in a particular intense scene in which you just don't really know exactly what's going on or why the character are doing what they're doing but it all gets explained throughout this film now there's six chapters in this film and the way that they actually explain this obviously it's out of order but it all really makes sense and it really goes down to the details of this film there's a lot of details that are thrown at you and as everything is going along it connects and you go ah okay I understand that now then there's other things in this film where you just are kind of scratching your head a little bit and you're going okay where is the direction of this film going who am I rooting for here it definitely explores sexual themes in nature where it is a male dominating a woman versus also a woman dominating a male as well so if you're not really comfortable with that it definitely depicts a scene from that in which you definitely see this couple actually doing that and performing those acts it's also a very bloody film as well it isn't overly bloody and gory I've definitely seen much worse but it definitely has its bloody moments it definitely explores themes of prostitution and how women when they're actually doing a one-night stand and they're a prostitute like that they're really putting their life at risk you know they don't know this guy that they're actually getting with and it explores those themes and it goes into a certain chapter of this film where where it really does explore those themes and it's about in the middle of the film that it really does explore those themes and it's just very interesting where this film kind of ends up where certain scenes are playing out they'll cut from that scene they'll go to the next scene and then you're just piecing it all together like a puzzle it's shot on 35 millimeter film which i really do think it really makes this film really shine it looks great on screen the cinematography is done really well and just the shot composition here i think someone that's really a big film fan will really appreciate this film definitely with the shot composition here and what they're just doing with the camera here and they're moving the camera and there's certain aspects too that they do with the camera that I definitely appreciated definitely different shots that I thought was very unique to the film and the film just kind of keeps you on the edge of your seat it's a very much a cat and mouse type of game there's not a lot of characters here but there's a lot of intrigue here because you don't know exactly where the characters where they're actually headed from a genre standpoint it's very mixed it has like a psychological thriller to it it has a horror vibe it has a slasher vibe to it. it has a lot of different genres that are really mixed and meshed in this film and I really did appreciate that as well I think there's a lot of stylistic vision with this film it's a very well thought out film I think it's written pretty well I think from a standpoint of what I've heard of negatives of this film is I have heard from the ending standpoint that there are some people that wish that it would actually end at a certain point in which it kind of keeps going for that last 10 minutes but I actually did like the ending I think it was very appropriate for this film I think this film just has a lot of creepy vibes to it the soundtrack here it definitely has created a really good vibe here and just the creepiness of that soundtrack it really got under my skin at points you know there's not a lot of soundtracks that just make me go "Ooh, this is just really eerie and kind of made me feel kind of dirty throughout this film there's different elements and different traits with these characters in which I just was kind of confused at a certain point of 
okay, so who am I rooting for here? And then what is really actually going on and just how the film really reveals itself in a way to just keep you on the edge of your seat. I just loved it for what it was. I think it's a very unique film. It's a film that people definitely need to check out. If you can watch this in a theater, definitely do so. I think it is a great experience. You know, I didn't have a lot of people in the screen with me when I went to go check out this film. I don't think a lot of people actually know about it. But if you're looking for something to watch, I definitely recommend this film. I can't say that I had any flaws with this film. I think that over Overall, it was just a very well-written film. I think the characters are done really well. I think the acting is done really well. And I definitely want to see Willa Fitzgerald in a lot more roles. I think she was excellent in this film. Kyle Gallner, obviously he gets a lot of work. He's been in a lot of horror films, so I think that he'll continue to get work. But overall, I think this is just an excellent film that you definitely have to check out. I can't say any negatives overall. I really can't. I was trying to think, you know, is there anything that I really didn't like about this film? And there really wasn't. I just loved it for what it was. I loved the concept. I love the nonlinear plot and just connecting all the dots for this film. I would go on the record to say that this is a five out of five film. It is just a phenomenal film that you definitely have to check out and just see for yourself. The reviews here are pretty positive across the board and I'm just very interested to see how this is received from other type of YouTubers. I've seen some people actually review this film and they absolutely liked it as well. So I'm just really looking forward to hearing people's opinions and just how they really feel about the third act and how they feel about the ending because again I've heard a lot of people really gripe a little bit towards the end of the film and how it actually ends up. What did you guys ultimately think about Strange Darling? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you just think it was kind of meh? If you haven't checked it out yet, are you going to check it out at a theater or are you going to check it on VOD or streaming? Leave any and all comments as always and I thank you guys for watching as always and I will see you guys next time.